Hello everyone and welcome by another video of the Orchid Saga and uh, yesterday I went orchid shopping I will uh, introduce the new orchids to, uh, to you guys uh, in a minute but before I do I just wanted to do a quick update on these two this is a dancing lady and type and this one I think as well as, as a, at least close in that category it's a uh, Oncidium vari varicosum beldium I hope that will show up but uh, I just wanted to film the buds because uh, it's almost almost black with a yellow um, leaf sticking out and I think it's these are one of the most beautiful buds if you ask me it's just that contrast is so beautiful so I thought I'd do just a quick update on this as well and I hope I don't uh, make you dizzy but I have to uh, go into the orchid room uh, oh yeah and we have uh, uh, two new shelves. This is a new one and this is a new one. So that corner is now also uh, filled with shelves as well. I had nothing there yet, but I think this looks very nice and it gives me quite a uh, nice room to put my Vendacia types here and next to that my Cattleyas. And I like Cattleyas as well, so I have a, a bit of room for a few more if I wanted to, and of course I want to, <laughs> someday. But uh, let's go inside, and I have them here. Gross. This is also a uh, Dancing Lady type, I think it's the Munsterland. Fairly um, big uh, blooms, uh, at least this side. The Dancing Lady that I showed you in the beginning of this video is a smaller. But this one is bigger and I found, I found another odontoglossum type I'm not sure which one it is at first I thought it could be the Cheyenne but I think it's the Cheyenne is a little bit different than this one but I really love the blooms and what I also love is this the big bulbs beautiful leaves and big bulbs uh, orchids. I don't know why, but I really enjoyed them, so I thought, yeah. And it was only 5 euro. So I thought, yes, I'm going to have this one. I have one here. I fell in love with the colors. These are, are probably my favorite colors, the yellow and the dark red. So the combination of those two. Uh, I have a few more who are um, quite the same, but uh, I'm not sure I, I have exactly this one. But yeah, I thought I need this one. It has a beautiful long spike. And it does remember me or remind me of the Un Anthocidium, I think it's called. Hen Henselier of something like that. Let me grab the tag. I have it here somewhere. Oh, don't you? No, this is another one. Quindlinburg. Qu Quindlinburg. I'm sorry you guys, I thought I already had it. I'm a little bit conf <laughs> confused. Anyhow, it doesn't matter. I'm not sure because this is uh, no idea. It ha doesn't have a tag on it. But I love the bloom. So one day I, w I can compare the two and uh, because I, I already took some pictures of this one. If I really have the same one, but I doubt it. Now I checked that label. I thought it was called different. Anyhow, this is a sunset. This is how, in my opinion, a sunset should look like. Beautiful, vibrant colors, vibrant yellow with a, a hint of pink in there. And also on that lip, beautiful contrast there and um, stripes. I have a sunset, but it's... whoops! This one is a little bit top heavy, but it's, the blooms are very different. I have a spotted one, I always call it like that. Let's take this out to my uh, sunset and have a comparison. So you can see why I want this. Look at that, beautiful colors. This is how they, and we can uh, get them quite easily here in the Netherlands. And I saw them a lot coming by last year, I think. But I was looking for this one, very vibrant colors. Not all of them are as vibrant as this one, but this is how I, uh, in my opinion, the sunset should look like. And uh, let me see how I can do this, because we have another spike there. Here they are, next to one another. You can see the difference there. Mine is uh, really spotted and isn't as vibrant, but I still like it. I still like it, don't get me wrong, but 
Yeah, I thought I can have uh, the one on the left, the new one as well, because of the vibrant colors. So I basically now have two sunset, but yeah, they are very uh, different, I think. But this one um, is going back because I uh, put them always a little bit aside, away from the other orbit. I check them, I don't see any bugs or insects on them, something like that, but still I like to be on a safe side. So what I will do is I will spray them with my insecticide uh, stuff, um, which I'm uh, making a video of, so that will be soon on my, uh, my um, channel as well. But uh, these guys need to have their spray and then they will find their place in uh, the greenhouse or in the orchid room until they stop blooming or I see uh, new roots starting then I will um, repot them into self-watering this one is actually has quite a nice roots there beautiful root tips uh, it's fairly dry at this moment but I will wait a little bit longer um, I could do it now but this one is really uh, in blooming mode as you can see it has to uh, open up some buds as well still as is this one and as is this one and probably this one is making new roots sooner because this these has uh, opened up all of the, uh, the buds but like I said I will wait a little bit longer so they have it a little bit easier and also I found this one um, let me put it on a table this is a species Pleurotolis, Pleurotolis, Tolius. I cannot pronounce it. It almost <laughs> sounds like disease. I'm sorry. <laughs> what do you have? Uh, well, I'm infected with Pleurotolis. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys, but these names I uh, a little bit troubling here. Um, but look at those little blooms. I, yeah, it's really hard to get them in focus. I think it's now in focus. Let's zoom in a little bit. Aren't these beautiful? Normally I really not am uh, liking very small blooms like these, but I like this color. And I like to have different orchids from different uh, families in within the orchid. So I thought, yeah, I don't have a uh, pleur pleurotalis. So let's buy one. And I think this is another spike here. Yeah, that one sh hopefully starts blooming as well. And I really have to look up uh, how to care for these guys. I have no idea. I think not too much light and these are fairly wet. So I think they don't like to dry up. High immunity. But that's just based on what I think I see. But I have, <laughs> like I said, I have to look it up. But I don't think these guys would like uh, very bright lights. But yeah, I think those are blooms are very lovely if you recognize it if you have the exact name or you know it or you know one of the other ideas I know this one this is a sunset and I know this is a Münsterlander Münsterland I think but the other, other two if you know that please let me know I always like to have the uh, correct names um, so this is it for now I uh, I think I will do a, uh, a repotting video on them if you like, um, but it will be in the near future. So for now, a little quick update as well here. Um, I have, uh, I'm dealing with a spider mites infection, infestation, infection, infestation. I had quite a lot, especially on my vendas, and uh, so I have, um, I've been treating them for the last few days. Like I said, I've, I am filming it so I will make an, uh, a video about uh, how I go uh, with um, treating them for spider mites actually it's this one that spike seriously was covered it's a little bit hard to see I think but you see the dark spots on the spike that's uh, from the spider mites the bites from the spider mites but this one is still continuing to grow so probably we will have some blooms and that's a good sign, obviously, because I just recently did repot them into uh, these clay pots, my vendors, and then they had the spider mites. So yeah, that was. But I found the spider mites on uh, also on my. Uh, it's hanging now. You can see it's dying. The tip of it, my vanilla 
And it also had uh, not only spider mites but also uh, aphids. So yeah, it's sad, but I, uh, it's a very healthy plant, so it will try to shoot out somewhere uh, on the other end, I hope. But yeah, it's, it's sad. This is dying off. I probably should uh, cut it off. But anyhow, like I said, I have more uh, spider mites on more orchids, so I uh, will treat. <coughs> I'm sorry. I will treat all of them, and I'm uh, like I said, I'm filming it. So that's coming up soon. For now, this is it. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye bye.